Welcome to Mobile Car Mechanic. Today we're going to show you how to replace a Uconnect LCD screen on a Jeep Compass. This is a 2018. It's going to apply from 2018 to 2021. And the reason why we're changing it, as you can see, there is a big blob and it's starting to make random phantom touches on the screen messing with things. So we're going to go ahead and show you how to replace that. Let's get to it. All right, before we actually can access the radio, we gotta take this bezel off. And this is gonna be kind of a pain in the butt. Uh, what you'll need is a pry tool, and you're gonna to have to go at every corner, every little spot here, and you're gonna kinda of have to pull on it to yank it out. As you can see, it has the vents in it. If they do come separated, they clip back in. Um, just don't be too scared, but you'll see we have a clip here, clip here, clip, 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 clip. Some may have popped off or may not be there. We've got other clips here. So just be aware of that. But once we got it off, now we're going to have four T20 uh, bolts here. You can either use a Torx bit on a driver or on a socket. So we're just gonna go ahead, these aren't super tight, and just go ahead and unscrew it like if you're doing a regular screw on a screwdriver. All right, once you get all the screws out, we're gonna go ahead and pull the radio towards us. All right, as you can see, there's a bunch of wires and color-coded wires here in this case. So there's little tabs on them. We're gonna just go ahead and pinch them and pull out. All right, so to explain how we did this, um, it's just gonna be easier to show you. Get like a flathead screwdriver or, uh, or pry tool here. Just push the tab and then just pull it out. They're kind of really difficult to do just with your finger. So once you got them off, pulled out. By the way, you can't mix these up because they're obviously color-coded to where they need to be plugged in. We're going to go ahead and tackle this uh, locking connector here. There is a little tab that we're going to try to pull out. Might need to stick a screwdriver or something under it. Okay. Once you do that, you're just going to swing it out. It'll all come out as one piece. And we have the one last connector here. Pinch it out, I'm gonna go ahead and pull it out. So this is the radio. Your wires and connectors might vary, but the radio, the, the unit is very much, pretty much the same. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and take out these Phillips head screws. This is the main portion, the main head of the head unit. The screen is just connected to it. So this is the brains of everything. So we're gonna go ahead and get a Phillips head screwdriver and then uh, start unscrewing those. All right, so you're gonna have about I believe six screws. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So we're gonna go ahead and knock those out. And these aren't very tight. All right, that's the last screw. Now it should allow us to separate the brain here or the cover for the brain make sure there's nothing connected to it which there is so let's see if we can pop this out okay those are just standoffs not a big deal the main board out, but then we have a Wi-Fi antenna here. So we're gonna go ahead and we should be able to just pull it out just like that. Now that we got this out of the way, you can take the rest of the standoffs out. Okay. Now there should be a display connector that holds this in place. So we're just gonna kind of pull it. Okay, there should be another Wi-Fi antenna here. Now, you can either 
do it, or you can use like a little pry tool here. Just pop it out. All right. So we're gonna put that to the side for now. So the display is under all this. What we have to do here is flip it the other way, and then we gotta undo these little tabs. Um, there's gonna be a tab here, tab here, tab, tab. If yours leaked out enough, you'll see some sticky stuff here, which is the display um, adhesive for the digitizer. And of course, more clips. So we're gonna go ahead and try to undo those. See if I can use my little pry tool here. If not, you may wanna use a flathead, which I'm probably gonna end up doing here. All right, I have a small flathead. I'm just gonna go ahead and lift up the tab. You don't really need to lift it too far up. So just kind of lift it up. You're gonna have to kind of push forward a little bit to kind of get it to come out. Actually, I might do, just do it from the top. I think it'll be easier. There we go. So we got a little bit of movement forward here. I might put another something up there just to hold it in place while I go ahead and try to get this popped up all right now we have a gap which is good now I'm just gonna go ahead and so you can see it's starting to come out same thing just pull a tab here all right you'll really feel it starting to loose up as, as you take more of the clips out all right as you can see it's pretty much coming out all right, so the bezel's kind of stuck on there because the, the glue for the LCD pretty much uh, leaked all over the place. So we're gonna go ahead and take out this little guy here. This, this little uh, bar flips up. So just stick your nail under it. It'll come right out. And then we should be able to just remove this guy too from the uh, from this board same thing just flip it up put the board to the side this is the whole LCD this is the main problem I'm just gonna put it to the side we're gonna go ahead and get our replacement um, in the meantime we're gonna go ahead and take our Wi-Fi antenna out so we can get the bezel out let's see if we can clean this off all right as you can see this is the new screen is the old screen. We got a little blob there. Some of the the goo, the glue the display adhesive leaked out and around the bezel and onto the metal and everything like that. So we cleaned that up. So now we're gonna go ahead and swap this out with this brand new one here. Now we're gonna go ahead and rip off the uh, protective layer. Okay. So what we're gonna do here is we gotta connect this main board here this interface board needs to go into here. So you're going to flip this tab right here like we did on the old one. Okay, once the lines are, once it's pushed all the way in, oh, never mind. should match up to these guys here and then you should feel some resistance the lines will disappear once it's plugged all the way in and then we're going to do the same thing here this is already up i'm just going to go ahead and push this in until it goes all the way in all right you should feel some resistance it'll snap in place all right, so before we go ahead and put the display in there, I kind of want to just get the routing of the Wi-Fi cable in, the Wi-Fi antenna. So we're going to go ahead and put it in this hole. And we don't have to put it all the way in just yet. What we're going to do now is put the display in on top of that. So I'm going to go ahead and put the 
interface board here. We're just gonna line it. There's little tabs here to kind of hold it in place. So we're gonna just put it there. We're gonna put the display where it needs to be. There's little things that'll lock it in place. Once we do that, we're gonna go ahead and clip this metal bezel into place. And you'll know when the screen doesn't come out, we have the antenna right here. Okay. All right, if you took out the board like I did, that was unnecessary. But uh, basically there's standoffs here that need to be put in place and they have two little ends. You can do them either way. You just have to rest it into the, to the hole here. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take that board that we did take out. There is a Wi-Fi antenna on there. There is a spot right here we're gonna go ahead and click it into. You don't need too much force to get it in there. And just you gotta fight the, uh, the flex of the cable. Okay, now it's in there. And we're gonna go ahead and lay this onto the to the stops. Whoops, came out because I was doing something. I pulled it out. Okay, you'll hear a click. We're gonna lay it on these standoffs. You're probably gonna knock them down when you try to do this, just cause. Let's have this flip the wrong way. Let's try that again, there we go. Now that we have that in there, and we knocked out another standoff, I'm just gonna go ahead and put it in place. The standoff is gonna keep getting bumped by the Wi-Fi antenna, so now we gotta Improvise here. Okay. I'm just going to tilt it while I'm doing this. All right, once we have it laid down, we're going to just go push it down. The standoffs will be in their place. Now we have one little connector here for the Wi Fi antenna on the bezel. We're going to go ahead and do the same thing we did earlier. Just kind of click it in place. Once it's in place, I'm gonna go ahead and turn this towards the display. Our main goal here is to make this connector go into this guy right there. All right. Now that it's done, we're gonna go ahead and put on our six Phillips head screws that we took out earlier. We'll get two started just to make sure that they go in. All right, all screws are in place. The radio is a hole. Let's go ahead and start plugging things in. Go ahead and plug this main guy in first. We'll play, plug in the main harness. Make sure the connector is swung all the way up like that. Once you have it lined up, it should get sucked in. We're gonna go ahead and put our, all our antennas here. They're all color coded so you can't mess this up. All I have to do is just go ahead and line it up to where it used to be, as far as where our Torx bits were. What I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna go ahead and make sure that the radio actually turns on. Okay. Looks like our screen is working. I'm gonna just take double check. All right, 
So it looks like everything's working. We're gonna go ahead and start putting in the screws here. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and start screwing in our radio. Once I get it in, I'm just gonna go ahead and just get it started, but not all the way in, because I wanna make sure we line everything else up. All right, once the radio is secured, I'm gonna go ahead and get our bezel. This is probably the easiest part of the job, putting it back in. Just go ahead and line it up. And you're just gonna clip it in place. And that's it, we're done. Thank you for watching Mobile Car Mechanic. Today we just showed you how to replace the screen on a Uconnect for this Jeep Compass. This applies from 2018 to 2021. Thank you for watching and see you on the next one.